All right. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Melbourne. Welcome to the Harlequin Rugby Club. We can't hear each other. Good morning, everybody. We're welcome to Melbourne um, for the championships here between South Australia, Brisbane, and Rugby Victoria. It's been a massive weekend of rugby. Day two of the finals. And today we've seen the matchups between Brisbane and Rugby Vic. Unfortunately, it's at 9 o'clock. And then at 10.30... We have Brisbane, who will be taking on Rugby Vic in the under-16s. And then uh, at 12 o'clock, again, Brisbane taking on Rugby Vic in the under-18s. It's a nice warm day here in Melbourne. It's 28 degrees. <laughs> Minus 14 degrees. It's 10 <laughs> degrees here in Melbourne uh, at the not-so-sunny Harlequin Rugby Club. Thank you to Brock Parker and the crew down here. Always presenting well um, in this space for rugby and for the growth of the sport. I am joined by the Wallaroos' most recent, most recent uh, uh, representation, representative in Lema Bosnavalangi. Lema, Lay, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me um, today. Lema, uh, when was the last time you were up this early for rugby? Uh, <laughs> to be honest, I think I was up this early when I was about 10 years old. I haven't been up this early <laughs> since, since juniors. So, yeah, definitely something I'm not used to. Firstly, congratulations on a massive, on a massive win, uh, a massive um, uh, season for Super Rugby. Yeah. Fantastic! You. Um, you had a great season. Out of that season, came your opportunity to play or to make the Wallaroo squad. Yeah. Um, how does it feel knowing that you came from a club space like this, representative space like this, now to the to the highest level? What's uh, that been like? Honestly, for me. Um Coming, you know, just from a small club and um, to obviously make it into the Wallaroo squad and to be able to train with uh, some of the best athletes in the world, um, it was it was really good and it really helped me a lot to develop my skills not only on the field but off as well and just my knowledge around rugby. Yeah, so, you know the the way that you dominated and you played this year, um, it, it seemed as if you've been playing for ten years in the game um, with such a dominant and powerful. Um, uh, running style and tackling style and defensive style. Uh, congratulations on that and well done. Yeah, thank you. Think, yeah. This year I wanted to make my mark in Super Rugby, um, obviously, being my second season. Um, making the squad last year, but um, obviously only being in the Shadow Squad, I wanted to step up my game and um, you know show that I have what it takes to um, play at this stage. So, yeah. You've got plenty to show, I tell you that much. <laughs> You've got plenty to show. Well, from what we saw this year in the Super W, um, you've got a massive career ahead of you. Um, and I just love the way you play rugby. And lots of people love the way you play rugby. And I tell you what, we love the hair too. Oh <laughs> if you haven't seen Lay, Google Lay. Uh, oh. She has got the best hairstyle. Yeah. The best hairstyle. The most yeah, identifiable. <laughs> the Fiji flow. <laughs> so we're only about two minutes until the kickoff for this under-14s final between Brisbane Junior Rugby Union and Rugby Victoria. Brisbane team defeated Victoria yesterday and also South Australia. Huge shout out to South Australia. Massive shout out to South Australia. Um, the South Australian team that came over don't actually play in the girls' competition. They actually play in the boys' competition. So they're all the players on the, they're playing the boys' competition, but they've been able to pull together to create a girls' team. So fantastic. Um, this weekend has been huge for rugby. There were so many people down here yesterday at Harlequins just supporting uh, women's sports. So it's, it's been a great weekend. Our teams are almost ready to run out. 
I can tell because everybody's got their yeah. phones out. <laughs> everybody's on their, on their, on their devices, on their phones. Everyone that, uh, the under 18s and under 16s are ready to clear up, clap on their, uh, their players. We are waiting for a team sheet from Brisbane Juniors Rugby Union. I've got a one for Rugby Vic Girls, but we are waiting for the Brisbane one. So we do apologise if we don't call out the names, but only jersey numbers. Not too long now. The referees are ready. While we're waiting for them to run out, Lay, who was, uh, who's your biggest supporter at home? Um, I think my biggest supporter would be my mum. Your mum is yeah. the biggest supporter the biggest uh, of all supporter. things. Um, um, always comes to my games, takes me to training, which I'm very grateful for. And yeah, she's always been there uh, by my side and very appreciative of her. Did your mum tell you how good she was at, when, in her day when she played? No, she never told me anything. <laughs> your mum was pretty handy. <laughs> your mum was pretty good, I tell you that much. Um, you know, your mum was part of one of those founders of Rugby Victoria um, for the women's game here in the state. Um, but that, that crew back then, that, that founding uh, group of players, played hard and then danced hard on the dance floors. She danced too. I didn't know that. Oh, your mum danced. Your mum danced. <laughs> Don't worry, Lay, it's just me, you. Nobody else is listening. <laughs> this will be on Facebook, so make sure you log in. Oh, if you are watching this live stream, please, please share this live stream. Great opportunity to share women's sport, especially the age group. So welcome on to the field, the Brisbane Juniors Rugby Union now in red. And they'll be running left to right on the screen. And now we're waiting for the under-14s Rugby Vic girls to come out. Mobile phones are ready. <laughs> and here come the Rugby Vic girls. What would they be feeling at the moment, like, running out? Uh, obviously feeling nervous, quite nervous, playing in the grand final. Up against a, a good Brisbane side. Got a lot um, of good talent up there, so it won't be an easy game. So I reckon the time has to uh, show up during this game and try to play to their strengths. Yeah, fantastic. Do you know any of the girls playing in the under 14s at all? Uh, my cousin plays. Yeah. Desiree. Uh, I think she's on the. As we're looking at that, we're looking at the, uh, the Victorians here with their pre match ritual. Yeah. Pretty pumped. Pretty excited. Yeah, on the side. Um, obviously the captain, co-captain number 10, uh, Ocean Kai Wai. Uh, seen her play a few games before this, this state comp and she obviously has a lot to show and probably one of um, one of the best up and coming rugby players in this junior athletes team. So yeah, very keen to watch her play. Play, when did you start playing? At what age? I started playing when I was around 10. And who were you playing for then? I was playing at Holoquins. Yeah. So this is my home ground. In the, in the boys' in the comp? In the boys' team. In the boys yeah. Side. I was the only girl in my comp. Is that now three girls from Harlequins that have come through into the Wallaroo squads? Georgia McCormick. Oh, who was played she at here? Harlequins? Yeah, she was at Harlequins. Yeah. Um, Ashley. Ash Masters, yeah. who was here as well. And obviously the, the Valentini. Rob Valentini. Once again, a big thank you to Harlequins Rugby Club, to Brock Parker for putting on, uh, allowing the opportunity for this competition to happen here. We are now kicking off. Brisbane with a kick midfield. Number 13 for Rugby Vic taking it up in Miley Navuni. They shift at once. The defence is up pretty hard from Brisbane. Rugby Vic go right. 
They just don't get the ball to where it needs to get to. It's been knocked back. They shifted it once, carried up. Once again, the Brisbane up in defence pretty quickly here. Lots of speed so far. It's Victoria with the kick. The take is not clean. 21's coming up. Oh, almost. Good rush up there by the Victorians. Ball has been knocked back. Nice tackle again by Victoria. Hands in the ruck there. It's a penalty to Brisbane. They tap quickly and go. They start to shift it out wide. Two, three passes. This is a pretty handy Brisbane team that we saw yesterday. If they can just get the ball to the edges. Dead second penalty to Brisbane. Victoria have to be careful in that breakdown space. Keep their hands off the ruck. Brisbane kicking for touch. First line out for the game. <laughs> they move. Where do you think they're going to go in the line out here? I think they might go to the front. So like two. Let's have a look. Let's see if you're right. So they're setting up pretty close to the front of the line out. We've gone straight to the front. Straight to the yeah, front. straight to the front. Still carrying strong. Victoria, you have to be careful here. And there he is. It's the first try by Brisbane. Victoria just caught flat on their feet. The referee's calling out the captain to have a chat. Referee today is Owen Stone. Fantastic effort by the referees the entire weekend. So that's the first try in for Brisbane Juniors Rugby Union. It is only 20-minute halves. We are only playing 20-minute halves um, today. So I'll tell you what. Number three? Yes, yeah. Yeah, that's a good option. And you can see there the, the body position. She stayed low. Victoria just a little bit too high. And all she did was take it as low to their feet. And there she, there she scored the try. What age group lady did you start playing um, when you started playing in the, with all girls? How old were you when you were playing with all girls? I was 16. Yeah. But um, back then, it, there was no 15 team, so I was playing sevens for about two years. Yep. And, yeah. It was, it was much different to what I was used to, but I think just playing with girls, I uh, got to make more friendships. And, yeah. and the conversion there, unsex unsuccessful. So Brisbane with a 5 nil lead. How would you have felt actually having a competition like this when oh, you were 14? I wish I had this when I was growing up. Yeah. But um, I only got to play one of these comps last year. Yep. I was in the under-18 team with the Canberra. We won that one too, so yeah, at least I got to have one up my sleeve. Yeah. But yeah, this is a great pathway for girls to, to develop their rugby and, and, you know, make it into the Super Rugby team and, you know, they dream of becoming a Wallaroo or... We have a country that we can play for. So, yeah, it's a good opportunity. Rugby Vic with the kick off midfield. It was knocked back. Yeah. Penalty now to Rugby Victoria. Let's see what they're going to do. Will they tap and go? Will they go for the line? Looks like they're shaping to tap and go. There's a bit of a discussion midfield. Yeah. So they are shaping to tap. Bit of confusion. We are tapping, we are going. Big ball carry there by Margaret Talatina.
and from the left side scrum to the right side of the scrum in Avila Tuilangi. They can just get out to their hands. And that is almost there. It is a try to Desiree Koliloa. You mentioned earlier about Desiree. Yeah. She's obviously one to watch as well. She plays in the boys' conference. Yeah. Under 30. Plays with my younger brother. She's a really good strong runner. And, yeah. Just um, don't let her uh, give her too much space. Otherwise, she can be pretty deadly on the outside. Yeah, but good shift from number 10, Ocean. Drawing in those two players and um, passing it out wide to Desiree. Like, can I ask you this question while they're shaping up to take the kick? How how many times have you commentated? None. I've never commented in my life. I, I tell you what, for somebody who's never commentated in your entire life, this is a pretty good effort. Pretty good effort. No, I just listen to all the commentators and I just try to... It's a big kick from the side. Just oh. missed. That was a big oh, kick. Risky. And as you mentioned, that's Ocean that uh, you were talking about. Yeah. Handy play to watch. You've mentioned her. You've seen her play before. Um, what a pathway, once again. What a pathway. She's a really good player. And I think having these comps can really develop their skills and keep them in the game. Yeah. We're now waiting for the ball. We'll see what Brisbane decide to do, whether they go left. They're shaping to go left. Looks like they might go actually midfield again. No, they go to the right this time. Go short. Good step there. Victor Rubby, we've got to get over the top. They didn't get over the top in time, holding on to the ball. Brisbane, once again, with a quick tap. Big carry here. Good tackle. A great tackle there. By Cyrilia <laughs> Wallach. <laughs> Brisbane side to go right. Yeah, yeah. Good oh, contact. The ball's yeah, almost. Yeah. The ball's gone. It's been ripped and sealed. Knock on first from Rugby Vic. It's now a Brisbane scrum. First scrum for today. Oh. Is it contested? We'll see. <laughs> It was contested yesterday. So there shouldn't be a reason why it shouldn't be uncontested today. <laughs> Referee Stone has blown that up. The initial sh uh, shove there. Yeah. I get it. So 16. Yeah. We're packing down again. Referee's calling it. Now watch their feet. What's been feeding? It's almost a tight head by Rugby Vic. Brisbane have got it now. Let's see if they can shift it wide. It's a crash ball. Straight through the number 18. Almost through the middle there. Brisbane a bunch to the right. And they decide to go with the option to the left. Playing advantage. Referee Stone. Dominant tackle there by Rugby Vic. Penalty's being played. High tackle. Mm. Tap and go again, Brisbane. They start to shift. Let's get that ball wider. They do. One person overlap there. And the ball's been lost. Stolen by Rugby Vic. They set. Decide to go right. Clean pick up there. They're able to shift again. 
Now they have to shift it wider. Now they have pace to burn on the outside. Now Rugby can set up far left. Good pass. And again, Brins has been up pretty fast in that defence. The defence is really good coming off, off the line, shutting down the total space. Just that speed, Halo. Whistle blown by Free Stone. Rugby Vic decided to tap and go this time. <laughs> There's calls to get the ball wider. They go one up, straight through the middle by number six, Millennial Osafua. They go back to the right to Ati Lali. Ati's just back from a concussion. Back to the carry again. Let's see if they can get this wide there, Rugby Vic. Good descent there by the number 13. The referee's blown it up. What option do they decide to go with this one? Ati Lali takes it up. Oh. Rugby, you've got to get over to get that clean ball. Holding on to it. Holding on to just that fraction too long. Yeah. Rugby Vic just didn't get over the ball to clear no. out in time. Brisbane's defence over the ruck is really good and they've stolen. I've gotten a lot of penalties off that. Just the pace. Yeah. They're just faster yeah. at it. We've got nearly all the way from the left side of the field to the right side of the field. Offside. Offside. Looked like the offside was given to <laughs> Rugby Vic there. I don't know how you can be offside and get the penalty. But he's changed the direction. Looks like they're going to tap and go again. Big crashing ball by that number three. Yeah, number Set. Three Here we go. She threw one, she threw two, she threw three. And Rugby Vic with a player down. Good run by that time. Referee's called, blown up, blown up again. Yeah, big run there by the number yeah. three. She was obviously one of their key players. Mm. Hard to take down. You can see their strong carry. Yeah. Got an injury there by, it looks like it's number eight. Yeah. Anya Tukula. <laughs> so what do you reckon they'll be talking about now? They're on their defensive line. What do you think the Rugby Vic will be talking about now? I think just to come up um, together and to shut down their space because they're obviously pretty quick off their, off their rocks and um, they've, got, they've got a lot of speed and, and strength. So I think just shutting them down and, and going low on their tackles will help Victoria a lot. It's also that time just to get that breather. Mm. Looks like they're, they're um, you know, Brisbane seem to be playing a bit of that faster mm. pace game. Gives an opportunity just to take some oxygen in. Yeah. It's not so great, Lay, that they've put us right in front of the barbecue. <laughs> it's about three metres away. I can smell the barbecue. I can smell it. I'm getting a bit hungry. <laughs> Where's mum? Oh. Where's mum? Where's mum? Where's mum? 20 minute halves of this game uh, for the finals. 20 minute halves. It's been a great weekend. South Australia have come over. Um, as I mentioned earlier, South Australia, the girls team that have come over are actually girls that play in the boys competition. So they don't have their own girls competition in some of the age groups. Yeah, so it's really, it's really important that we continue this to promote the, the game for the women. Um, yesterday was a phenomenal day. Today we'll just get busier and busier. Um, for somebody like you who's made it from club level right through to, you know, now in the Wallaroos squad, um, what was that like? What was that like when you got the call? Um, it was just, 
was just, I was just on a high from her. Like, it's obviously every girl's dream to not only make CBW but make the Wallaroos team and to play for your country. So it was, it was, I was just really grateful to be um, caught up into their squad. So it was a good opportunity. Phenomenal, phenomenal. It looks like our player's up, number 80's up. She's making her way back to the bench. And there's a round of applause from the people around today. I believe it is number eight, Anya Tukula. Brisbane tap and go quickly. Game is playing. Looks like their number eight's carried, carried hard. Once again, Rugby Vic probably just a little bit flat on their feet, and that's a try by Brisbane. Now increasing their lead by five points. Same thing, Lay got caught again. Um, just a little bit flat foot. Body yeah. position, body height was a bit too high. And this Brisbane team here just know how to go fast and low. One thing that the Brisbane teams have been um, doing over the weekend is trying to really play the game in the middle of the field. What Victoria have done well is really defend hard in that middle of the field. So Brisbane can get it wider, yeah. as you've seen. We've had, we had um, tries on both sides of the field. If they can get it wider, um, they can score more yeah. points. Big kick here from the sideline. The number eight. Let's see how well she can strike this. Ball's gone to the left. Bit of a pressure there from Ocean. It's a 10 5 lead to Brisbane. In this under 14s final. To hear cheers here from Rugby Vic. Desiree now with the kickoff. Not a bad kick. It's gone deep into the 22. It's been fumbled there but knocked back. Good defensive pressure there by Rugby Vic. See if they can win that ball back from here. They have. They've won the ball back. And referee Owen Stone has caught it up. Penalty to Brisbane. Rugby Vic just giving away too many penalties yeah. there, eh? Got to be more disciplined around those areas, especially the run. Brisbane with the clearing kick. And the line out to come. Three man line out, four man line out, four person line out here by Brisbane. Looks like they'll just go straight to the front as they did last time. Yeah. We've gone up. up the front. Oh. Ball's been tapped back. If there's pressure up on the outside backs by Victoria, which there is, and there's that defensive pressure. Good tackle by number 12, always. Oh, as you can see, they're spreading it out wide. A little step in. Brisbane over that ball really quickly. Yeah. Carry it again. The defence around their rocks are, are really good, getting over that ball quickly to ensure that the tour doesn't come over and steal it. They're but getting in early and setting in early, yeah. aren't they? Really Kick's good. gone up. Now, Rugby Vic ball within their 22. What are the options? They go left. Yep. They shift it left again. Shift it left all the way to the wing. And now we've got Will Saburn on the outside. And it's in to touch. Good run by Jemima. Obviously passing out wide. Good option, but obviously couldn't finish it in the end. Victoria looked a bit dangerous in that space, though. Yeah. They have a lot of speed. 
number 22 drama she's obviously one to watch as well let's see if they can finish here The kick's in. It's gone to an open space. Who's going to win this race? Is it Rugby Vic or Brisbane? Rugby Vic has got there first. It was a good clean out there. Got to get that clean out again. And there's the ball lost. Good counter rock by Brisbane getting over that ball fast. Brisbane with a strong carry. Rugby Vic with a good tackle there. Some loose tackles there. Ball's gone to ground. Looks like it's been knocked on. Rugby Vic scrum now. Three minutes left on the clock. It's a five-point lead to Brisbane. Yeah. Scrum just outside the 22 for Rugby Vic. Which way are they going to go, Lay? I think they'll go right. They're set to go right. Yeah. Looks like they've got to move on. Oh. oh, pressure there from the Brisbane halfback. Oh, good steal. Brisbane with the turnover. Yeah. Solid carry there by Brisbane. By the eight, she's still, going. still carrying hard. Looks like it's Rugby Vic over the top. Have they won the ball back? They have to turnover again. Let's see if they can shift oh, this ball just that a little bit wider. Vital played with her system. Rugby Vic to the left. Good ceiling of the ball there. Oh, a bit high. Referee Stone seen it. And the penalty in place. Quick tackle go by Ocean. Ocean with the drawing pass. She makes a bit of space. Rugby Vic with the yards. There's a two-person overlap here. If they could just draw and pass. They've drawn one. Oh, the referee Stone's calling a forward pass. Bit unlucky there. Looking dangerous, Lay. Eh? Yeah. Obviously a tough game. Got a minute 24 left on the clock for this first half. Brisbane really good with their... Counter rocks and stealing the ball. Victoria. And they're, they're really fast on their rocks and, and stealing over the ball, which obviously has a lot of advantage towards them. The freestyle's blown it up again. Yeah. Just trying to manage this front row, yeah. make sure they're in the right place. Brisbane with the feed. They win that ball. Oh, nice ball there. There's a good opportunity here for Rugby Vic. They put pressure on. Yes, Desiree. Desiree it's again. Just... 13's got it. It's a try. It's a try by Rugby Vic. Right on the buzzer too. No time left on the clock. They turned a defence into attack. How's that opportunity oh. by Desiree? It was a good, good um, 
Desiree really came up in defense and yeah, yeah. shut down their, their space, obviously off a of fumbled ball. So it was a good uh, read by her. And yeah, obviously off their mistake, they've turned it into to their points on the buzzer. So it was really good. And we have Ocean here. Setting Ocean up setting position. up for the kick right up in front of goal. This is for Rugby Vic to take the lead going into the half. Conversion is good. It's Rugby Vic 12 leading Brisbane Junior Rugby Union 10, and that is half time. <laughs> 